Hey there, guys. Who is this? It's Patrick, also known as Bull. Bull here doesn't lose his gear. Why doesn't he lose his gear? Because he always puts his gear back in the same place every time, right? All right, so today I just want to make a little video for parents and, and kids alike about like stuff you might want to buy, stuff you might want to get, how to take care of your gear, how to truck it around, you don't lose it, because there's a lot of different pieces. He's just messing around here with the swag slacks. All right, first thing we're going to talk about is, can I see that? Can I see that? Thank you, sir. This. This is one of the greatest inventions ever. It's a little more expensive than a lacrosse ball, but it does, guess what a lacrosse ball does? It bounces. What does this do? It doesn't bounce. It's almost like yeah, a really heavy, a a re, yeah, exactly. It's like a really heavy hacky sack, right? So if he goes and throws it against this pillow right here, messing around because it's cold out, and it, let's say, bounces, it's not going to break anything. It's a little bit softer, too. And they come in all those really cool colors. Here, buddy. We got, we're going to show off. All right, come on, Goo Paul. Come on. This helmet right here is a nice helmet. You can put cool stickers on there to make it look cool. Most important thing I would say, if you're gonna upgrade it to do anything to it, is this chin guard. The chin guard is like a football chin guard. These things are great. They'll fit the same sizes over here. Come here, we're not done. I'm trying to get them off. Okay, yeah. And this, the, the, the leather one, that's gonna be super uncomfortable. Next thing, we have the mouth guard. I'm a personal fan of the one that straps to the helmet. Look at that. He can put it in with barely even touching it. The ones that don't strap to the helmet, they lose. And then when the ref is like, hey, kid, where's your mouth guard? He's like, what does he do? He's, he's like, like, he's like, oh, where do you go? This right here, this is the oh. special shirt. You'll see when I take it off. It's a, like an undershirt for the pads. It's got a little bit of extra mush in here. Can I see that stick real quick, sir? Can I see that stick? Drop, drop the ball. What's nice about this, because there's a lot of checking in lacrosse, a lot of hitting. If he gets hit here... It's not gonna hurt as much. It gives him a little extra padding, but you can still get him in the tummy. Yeah. Next thing is, he's not wearing it because it's gonna show it. This right here is called the Shock Doctor. It's a good drag strap for the kids. It's I would suggest them a, a cop. Yes. It's it's, a cop. Is it pretty comfortable? It's comfortable. It's pretty comfortable? It's better. It's better? Better. But how about when you first put it on? Uh, wait, what? When you first started wearing these, how did you feel? Very comfortable. You felt very comfortable. Are you sure about that? Kind of. No, I think you were complaining a little bit. Yeah, but I the best thing is, you want to get your son, or you want to get your son wearing this, even to practice, because a can't play goalie without it. B, he's got to wear it for the games. He's got to wear it for the games. He's got to wear it for the practice. Got to wear it for the games. You get comfortable with it. You get better with it, and you get like it's you like second skin. Because you don't be. want the accident to happen. It's not fun, you is it? Want to be. Right, yes, that's that's great. Okay, we're not we're editing that out probably. The cleats. Now there are Oh we will, we will. These cleats right here, these are good lacrosse style cleats. They're under armor. I think I got these for like 15, 20 bucks new over like Burlington or something. You can get these over at Dick's. You can get used ones over at um played against sports. That's fine too, because he's gonna grow out of them in the first year anyways. These are really, really helpful. They're almost like football cleats. Now, the, the really the short ankle ones, not going to give them that ankle protection that you're really going to get from here. I'm a huge fan of the bigger cleats on them, the, the bigger, taller cleats. All right, so the next thing we need is these uh, these pads. His chest pad has to have the Noxy stuff on there. I'll show that in a second. Um, I'm a personal fan of any sort of used gloves that have a lot of padding on them. They might look like there's a lot, but, you know, it really covers his, his wrists pretty well. The, sh the elbow pads. mom, too, when she's, when she's playing baseball. <laughs> Dude, scary. I can't put this in a video for parents. For this right here. Meets Noxy standards. Meets Look across. Noxy? Noxy. N-O-C-S-A-E. All right, we have to. It's the rules. The rules. Shoulder pa elbow pads right here. These are good. He's just a little. This is, this is when it happens when you have a kid that wants to play, but it's nasty outside. He just wants to run around and go crazy. Yeah. Patrick is going to demonstrate how to take care of your gear. He is going to do a couple things. He's going to take his gear off, and then he's going to put it on the stick. And then you can drag it around, pick it up. He's not going to lose any elbow pads or any gloves or helmet or any of that stuff. Everything is attached to the stick. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this helmet, and we're going to lay it in there 
inside the stick towards the front part. You're gonna stick it through the holes, like there. You can put it, whatever one fits through there, shove it in there. There you go. Oh, all right, now stick it all the way through. I did. All the way through, all the way through. Here you go, see like this. It's gonna hold like this. He slaps it on like that. And look at that, look how that nicely that falls in there. What is that? This? What is that? Uh, jersey. Your practice penny, right? Mm -hmm. Do not lose that. We need that every day at practice, right? Mm -hmm. Very important. I so personally have a couple. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just put it through the hole. Trying. There you go. And it's, Biggest yeah, you make it happen. It is easy, right? It's, it's easier than putting in a bag, right? Because in the bag, they gotta, you got to zip it up and stuff. This, you just throw everything on your stick. It's like a, a invention from the medieval, medieval times. Right. Like All right. Now, yeah, you get you can find a variation of doing this how you guys want to. But this is the best way. This is the best way? I don't know the best way. All right. Now, look at that. Now, show them. You can drag it or you can pick it up. It's easy. Yeah, easy peasy, right? High five. Good job. Thank you. Anything else you want to add? Um, I like, I like bagels. You like bagels? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I've never seen you eat Say bagels. It. Ow! That's my head! <laughs>